From what I understand, someone actually handed you a brick? Yeah, Andy. Uh, yeah, Andy, they were walking by with a stack, wanted to hand off a piece of history to me. Uh, the old pink uh, is well known amongst famous musicians and Buffalonians of all backgrounds. And it's that ubiquity and acceptance that regulars and employees say they'll miss the most. Drinking, crying, telling stories, it, it seems like a funeral, you know. The death of the old pink has been like losing a friend, one that countless generations of Buffalonians knew and loved. Everybody from all walks of life was welcome and felt welcome here. What happens at the pink stays at the pink. It's just one of those magical places, you know. It feels like a part of my soul died today. For longtime DJ Eric Van Rysdam, the bar has been a home for three decades. He says losing it is devastating. The adventures I've had here in the last 34 years, I would take hours, you know. It was generations of families, Buffalo families, going there and all having crazy memories from the pink. A bar is much about memories shared as memories kept or for some forgotten. The old pink was the place to end your night out, whether a musician, politician or Allentown neighbor. Everyone goes everywhere, but by two o'clock in the morning, they're here because they're not ready to go home yet. And we're still humming along. Monday's fire thus marking a different kind of end for Buffalo's nightlife. Money is already being raised to perhaps revive the landmark, but even that future is unclear. In a perfect world, this place would be rebuilt and we would be able to all go back to work and, 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 and commingle with all the people in this city again, but I don't know. I don't know what's to come. So while the old pink may be dead, the stories from it will last forever. That place will always be that place. You know, the pink will always be the pink and and uh, I think that's what it was meant to be, you know? Yeah, and Scott Mary Ellis, this brick will always be from the pink. Again, that's the brick I was handed just a little while ago from someone that stepped across that line to grab one from the iconic green and purple wall. Now, we did get a message from the owner of the pink today. It was shared on Instagram. They called this a devastating uh, day for them. Uh, it was also captioned, rest in pink. Uh, the Brinkworth family, the owners, they have set up a GoFundMe. That GoFundMe is already towards its $10,000 goal almost. We're now reporting live on your side on Allen Street. Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. What a loss to that area, that's for sure. No question. And those.